So my girlfriend, she had a big problem yesterday. She f discovered termites in her house. So she immediately called the termite company and scheduled an inspection to look through the house and see if there's any serious problems. And thankfully there wasn't any serious problems because uh, the termite didn't really spread that much yet. But the interesting part is I, th well, I was talking to the termite person, right? He was relatively young, uh, 24 or 25 years old. And he was like working, uh, had to crawl under the house to look through the uh, the foundations and make sure there's no termite and under the house. He was covered in dirt and sweating, right? And he told me he makes about $120 per day. And it got me thinking, right? My uncle, he owns a restaurant, about 200 people uh, seating per day. And he don't really how to go to the kitchen, cook, or wait, wait the table or anything here, or wash the dishes. He just sit at home and call the manager, hey, is the restaurant doing good, or is there any customers that complain? And there's nothing that really goes on. And he's like, okay, hang out the phone. He makes about 1500 to 2000 per day, depends on the business. And he told me, the deciding factor for him to like live comfortably and his his net worth really really exploded was when he reached that one hundred thousand mark and it is a fascinating number in in, in this world one hundred thousand is really really hard to save my uncle saved that one hundred thousand took him ten years to save and only took him uh one year to make that hundred thousand dollar back. And you can, you have many ways to uh, earn that hundred thousand. But today, I just want to talk about why, when you have one hundred thousand dollars, your net worth will dramatically explode. It, it also have some luck, but there's ways that you don't need luck to uh, get that one hundred thousand dollars because there's a lot of magical power in that one hundred thousand dollars, right? Basically, you gotta say ten thousand per year. Um, to get that one hundred thousand dollars, I also made a video about that, and be sure to watch it at the end. But today, I'm just gonna share three reasons why one hundred thousand dollars is the magical number that will uh, make your net worth explode. First reason is the power of investing, right? My my uncle invested in a restaurant, which is very high risk, uh, because the uh, the restaurant might not like uh, function well, it might not have good business, but he did it. He he. They call luck and hard work. Hire all the everything out. Manager cooking, uh, washing dishes, waitress, right? Everybody he hire everyone out and he makes about thousand to two thousand per day. But that's not everybody, right? So what's the safe way of investing? Well, invest in S and P five hundred, right? Yearly return of an S and P five hundred is ten percent. Look it up, ten percent, right? It's about nine point eight. But re uh, last twenty years, ten percent. It never went down. So if you invest one thousand um, dollars, and ten percent for a the year, you return one hundred dollars. If you invest ten thousand dollars in one year, you'll get one thousand dollars. But if you invest one hundred thousand dollars in one year, you get ten thousand dollars in return, and then you compound that, right? So first year you get. Ten thousand, so one hundred and ten thousand, and they compound compound that. It'd be next year you get hundred and twelve thousand, right? And slowly it compounds. It compounds ten times quicker between a hundred thousand to ten thousand, and you don't really have to uh, work for that money. Kind of like my uncle, right? He just sit there, and you're earning money because your money is working for you now, and you don't work for the money anymore. This is the first time when you wake up, you don't, you own the time in the morning and you don't really work for someone else's time, right? Because $10,000, you can cover a lot of expenses, a lot of emergency funds. And it is hard to save $10,000. It's even hard, harder to save $100,000. But that power, it is tremendous, right? Hundred thousand and in one year can return ten thousand dollars if you invest in S and P uh, five hundred, right? 
So that's reason number one is power of investing. I do put about a uh, pretty good amount of money in my S&P 500. It's really, really boring. I just want to be like my uncle. Sit there with that money and he take on, took on a lot of risk to open a restaurant. I took on the least amount of risk, which is invest in S&P 500 and sit there, right? And you look at the data, right? Oh, you're lying. You're not, it's, you can't be like 10% every year. That's a lie because uh, right now, like banks only offer 3% or 4% in savings account, but look it up. The past 30 years, average return for S&P 500 is 10%, right? Look at that. Make sure to check on my information. And reason number two is the power of margin, right? If, let's say if you have $1,000 in your checking account. If you lost a job, you'll be scrambling to find a job, and you just find the, whatever the job they give you. Right, and you even though it's a sucky job, you just have to take it to make ends meet because you only have a thousand, and each month you you spending about eight hundred, you know, so you can't really last that long. But if you have one hundred thousand dollars and you want to find a really good job, and one year you can basically spend about like uh, ten thousand dollars if you don't if you own a house, right? It's even less than that, but if you don't own a house, ten to twelve thousand dollars a year, right? And you can use that time to actually look for a job, a job that pays really, really well. And good job takes time. It won't take you like one month or two months. If you're lucky and you're really, really good, it might take you like maybe three months, right? And you, you use that time to find a really good job that make maybe like hundred to hundred fifty thousand dollars And these are the margin, the power of margin. You can ha actually have margin of error. Like when things go wrong, use that money as a cushion to sit comfortably and look through the jobs right that you like and you continue to compound that uh to continue to compound that bank uh, that amount and and another thing is like um if you the another thing is like you can use that money to also uh, have better uh, update kitchens right these are kind of like investing or uh, you like investing too right at update like a kitchen cabinet right because when you update a house the most important thing you want to update is the uh, kitchen area or the uh, the bathroom area because that will increase the value of the house right so use that money if you have 100k 10k to update it and you value the house increase dramatically and once the uh, value of the house increase dramatically you can sell it for 20 or 30 thousand profit once you put ten thousand dollars into the house so you're kind of using that as a margin, right? You use that margin to increase the value of the house, right? So that's the power of margin. You don't, re you're not in a rush anymore because you made a decision you want to make and you don't have to listen to anybody else. You kind of like your own boss now because I don't want this job. So I'm going to wait and wait for another company and just continue interviewing. And last, uh, last tip, yes. Last reason, last reason is why the power uh, why your net worth explode up to 100k is the power of rental income. So this is not just me like saying buff or bluff, right? Because my, my brother, he owns about three rental houses, right? He say, uh, he you don't you don't need to say about hundred thousand, but if you have hundred thousand uh, dollars, a down payment of a like two hundred thirty thousand dollar house is about twenty four thousand, right? Put a down payment on the house, and your mortgage is about eight hundred thirty dollars. Uh, if you do a 30 year mortgage that's why i got right and i got not that great of a credit score but decent credit score and i got that kind of mortgage so you probably can get better but 833 but you rent that house out for um a thousand two hundred and for a three bedroom two bathroom easy you can rent it out because the rent is so high around it depends on your area and you rent it out if you got a hundred thousand dollars you can technically buy about three houses right down payment of each three houses and you rent all three of them out uh and so one house will give you a uh, passive income about uh three hundred dollars so eight hundred minus a thousand so it's like three hundred include like if, if minus some uh maintenance stuff so three hundred each house if you got three houses that's nine hundred dollars per house and here's the fact right rental is amazing because my brother he technically just doesn't do a lot of stuff right because he rent out a room, he just makes sure that renter stays for at least two to three years. And usually it's five years. Most of them have stayed till six years. Every month he will connect about three hundred dollars in passive income. 
and who's paying the principal, the renters? And basically, he just sit at home all day, renting out their houses, and you get about nine hundred dollars per month on renting houses, and you can use that for、uh, investing in stock, invest it, and buy some new clothes, go eating, and you know that you didn't work. Really, really hard for that money. It's not hard earned money. It's a passive income that you think you can enjoy in life. Once you reach that one hundred thousand dollars, there's many opportunities in front of you, right? Either buying rental properties. It's not that hard to like start it because I'm about to start some rental properties and make some videos. Once you, the hardest part is saving that money, right? Saving ten thousand, saving twenty thousand. That's all you need. Slow, steady steps give you the margin to look for good jobs, to give you buy some nice clothes, or to update your cabinet, update your bathroom, so your house value goes up. Or hundred thousand dollars, the best thing is investing. That comp the seventh wonder of the world is in、uh, the compound interest, right? Ten thousand give you hundred dollars. Ten ah、uh, ten thousand give you a thousand dollars. Hundred thousand give you ten thousand dollars per year on a ten percent average annual return, which is amazing. So hopefully you understand the power of hundred thousand dollars once you reach that, because it give you really great wealth building. All right, that is the video about that is about the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And my name is Kelvin, and I see you guys next one.